welcome to my channel big hack decorate easy with ungozi um welcome to the new subscribers thank you whole subscribers um thank you for liking for subscribing for the nice feedbacks and then um, also for your questions i get them and i try as much as possible to reply everything um today i'll be showing you how to make a tree back design it's very easy this i think um a person on intermediate level should be able to to make this design that i'm showing you how to make so here i have um, a beige colored fondant rolled out um this is about half of an inch and um the height here is eight inches i just need about seven inches but i rolled a bit extra i'm going to be covering my cake using the paneling method i find the paneling method very easy to cover all sorts of cakes um also this side here is 19 inches. I needed 18 inches, but I rolled it one inch longer. This is for the top of my cake. This is rolled to about a um, quarter of an inch. Um, yeah, same way. And then this one has been rolled really thin, such that I can almost see my hands through the fondant. Here I have vegetable oil in this container. And then I have my embosser. Here's the embosser I'm using. And here's my uh, six inches cake. Um, I compoted it using cake crumbs and buttercream. Just a little bit of cake crumbs and buttercream. I compoted it because I had some holes on the body of the cake and I didn't want that showing. So this, this really thin covering is just to close off the seams of my cake, the top part of my cake when I'm done. You will see what I'm going to do as the video goes on. So let's start. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the, a dip the embosser just a bit, a little bit in into the vegetable oil. I find that dipping this into the vegetable oil before embossing makes it easy for it to come out of the fondant when I press it in so that my fondant is not messed up. So now I start embossing. So as you can see the lines on here, nice isn't it? If there's any part of it that looks like it's not showing enough, I'll still come back and go over it again. So I don't know if you can see the patterns on the the tree back pattern on the fondant. So I have all of this covered. And this is the last part. I just want to properly emboss it so that it won't be faint. Because I think once you leave your fondant out a bit, it becomes hard. And makes embossing a bit, you know, strenuous. But this is this is fine for what I want to do. I'm still going to airbrush the airbrush the cake. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'll cover my cake. Now I'm going to cover the cake. I'm just going to bring this on here. So I'm just using water for the edges of the fondant so that it can help me stick the next part of the panel on the cake. The cake is a bit wet on the body too. Um, you can use um, edible glue but for this part I'm just using water.
to gently my hands to gently go over the cake reason is if you use a smoother your design might be lost so i'm just using my hands to gently smoothing out all the creases on the cake gently gently I'm done covering this as you can see it's very easy it's simple it's something you can try out um, whether you're just taxing out or you're intermediate or whatever level you are on so now this cake is part of a three tier wedding cake I'm working on so I'm just going to go and cover the rest of the cakes then come back to airbrush and when I'm done hair brushing I'll start and show you how the cakes look when I'm done so be right back Okay, so um, now um, I want to hairbrush the cake, like I said earlier. Um, ignore the wearing sound of the hairbrush. Is, is the hairbrush making that noise? Here I have um, chocolate brown. I use a Cabado colors for my hairbrush because I find that they are, they are easy to use. I diluted with a bit of water. And then here I have same brown but mixed with a bit of pink. And here I have same brown with a bit of yellow just so that I can play with different shades of the brown so now I start so I'm just going to go on a straight line around the cake you can make yours deeper like I did on the other tiers of my cake So you're going to see why I'm using all of these shades because, like um, I said earlier, the video uh, this cake is part of a three-tier wedding cake I'm working on, and I'm going to be having green flowers, pink flowers, and yellow flowers on it. So that's why I'm just playing with all these different shades. I'll show you how the whole cake looks soon. Here's how the cake looks finished. As you can see, this was the top tier I used. You saw the way I sprayed it. I kind of did the same thing on the second tier. I just made my color slightly deeper. 
and on the third tier, I used only brown, different shades of brown. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. See you in the next video. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your feedback. Bye.